Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be starting with a new topic called vectors. So this topic is called vectors. So vectors have magnitude and direction. So they have magnitude and direction. So this is the first thing which we need to know about vectors is they have a magnitude, which is like a value and the direction is the direction in which it's moving. It is represented, say V is the value. There's an arrow on top of it. So when there's an arrow above, it means that it is a vector. Now, if you look at addition of vectors. So say you have an arrow moving like this. And the magnitude of this is 46.5. And now another arrow like this and its magnitude is 20. We have to find the mag the value of the magnet, the value of the magnitude and take the direction into account. Since these two are moving in the same direction, we will simply just add this and get 46.5 plus 20, which is 66.5. Now, if we look at subtraction, so say you have something like this, is 46.5 and then this is 20. So now you can't just add them up because they're moving in different directions. Since 46.5 is larger, you'll keep that first and then you'll subtract that with 20 and you'll get 26.5. But then you have to put this arrow as it is moving 26.5 meters i'm just taking it as meters in this direction now i'm going to be moving on to another concept called magnitude of vectors this is called magnitude and there is a formula to find it so this is a vector a vectors are usually represented as p and Q. So this is a way to represent a vector. And now the magnitude, this is the symbol for magnitude. This is equal to root of P square plus Q square. So this is the magnitude of the vector A. Now say we have the vector A as 2 comma 1. I'm going to give, be giving an example of magnitude of vector. Is the if the vector a is 2 and 1, then we have to find the magnitude of a. What is this? Root of, and in this case, p is 2, right? So you have 2 square plus 1 square. Hence, the magnitude of a is root 5, as it's 4 plus 1. Now, if we move on, if we have something we have something called a zero vector zero vector is basically represented like this this just means that there is no movement as it's not moving any direction in the x or y axis and i forgot to mention that in this this p talks about the x axis and this q talks about the movements in the y axis Now, I'm just going to be giving another example so that you guys get it, so that you guys clear up on this topic. If we have this as A, and this in the exactly opposite direction, and if it has the same magnitude, it will be minus A, as the magnitude is same, but the direction is completely opposite. So you'll put a negative sign. Now, I'm going to be explaining another small concept in vectors. So this is called a unit vector. Unit vector. This is magnitude of one unit. This is just called the magnitude of one unit. of one unit. 
And now I'm going to be giving an example of a base vector. There's no real definition of a base vector, but I'm going to be explaining it to you guys using an example. So we have i as 1 and 0 and j as 0 and 1. And if we have a vector p, q, the base vector will be p, i plus q, j. So now an example will be a vector, say, a. This is 1, 2. So what you will do is 1, 2. So that's 1, 2. And then you know it's p, i. So you'll multiply this with i, which is 1, 0, plus 1, 2, and q, j. And 1, 1, 2 is basically q. And then 0, 1. Okay. So now I'm going to be moving on to some simple questions. Say you have a vector u, which is equal to 6, and minus 8 and a vector v which is minus 1 and 2 they're asking us to find the unit vector the unit vector in the direction of u so the first part is the direction of u we have to find the unit vector to do this remember i told you that unit vector is the magnitude of one unit and we have to find, so that means we have to first find the magnitude of u. Magnitude of u. So that is root of 6 square plus minus 8 whole square. This is root of 36 plus 64, which is root 100, which is equal to 10. So now we have to find it in terms of u, right? and in the direction of u. So you will use this value and you will do 6 minus 8 and you will divide this by 10. Sorry, you will divide this by 10. And for division, what you do is you divide 6 by 10 and minus 8 by 10. So that will be 0 0.6 and minus 0 0.8. So this is the unit vector in the direction of u. Now, if they ask us to find the same thing, but this time in the direction of v, we first find the magnitude of v, which is root of minus 1 square, which is 1, and 2 square, which is 4. So this is equal to root 5. Now we know that v is minus 1 and 2. So we divide this by root 5. So you don't really have to make this in decimals. You can just leave it as minus 1 by root 5 and 2 by root 5. So this is the unit vector in the direction of v. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. In today's video, I discussed the vectors and I discussed many, many different types of vectors which come under it. In the next video, I'm going to be moving on in vectors and I'm going to be discussing some more complex concepts. Thank you.